Good morning, today is day 48 of our run. We're gonna go 15 minutes one way and then 15 minutes back and then run around until I get to the gym for a total of one hour. Today we're gonna be doing shoulders, bicep and tricep in the gym. We've got some work to be doing, which we're gonna do that as well. So come along with me. And um, today is your sign to start running. If you're not currently running, start with just five minutes per day. You'll feel amazing, you'll feel great. Add a minute on every week until you're up to one hour and then increase your speed. Yesterday we did nine kilometers in one hour. We're gonna go for nine and a half kilometers today and um, just slowly increase the speed uh, until we can get much quicker. I do plan on doing a marathon next year, the next London marathon, and um, there are tickets to pay for it or I could just sneak in because I'm not there for a medal. I just want to do a marathon. And um, I think it'd be quite a cool event to film and whatnot. And who's going to stop me? If you've been watching, you know that I love having a cold shower every morning because it wakes me up and it does a lot of other different things. Releases adrenaline, increases your dopamine for the day, whatnot. I am now starting cold showers before I go for my run and before I exercise. For some reason, there's some benefit. And then after, obviously, I'll have a shower just to get the sweat off. Um, but I'm going to see over this week what benefits I will actually uh, receive from having a cold shower before I exercise. Yesterday I did that and I ran pretty solidly. It might be something to do with the deep breathing. I'm not sure. But we're going to go for our run now. We've just got done with our run. We haven't been able to run the entire way. But... Uh, we did pretty well. I mean, yesterday we did a tremendous feet record out of all of our runs. So it makes a lot of sense why I'm so drained and knackered today, but it's not a big deal because we're on the way to the gym now, do a great shoulder workout. And uh, remember it's the consistency that is important. And uh, if I kept going and really push myself, it would have been a tricky one to go back to tomorrow. So I'm never ever too hard on myself. Um, as long as I'm sticking to the time limit, doesn't matter if I run the entire way, run most of the way, walk some of the way, as long as I'm sticking to the time limit. And uh, we keep going. I'll see you tomorrow for day 49, which will be marking seven weeks and um, we will go for today's undefeated goal of nine and a half kilometers tomorrow and then actually scrap that we're going to bump up to 10 kilometers we're going to try and do 10 kilometers until next wednesday and see if we get there, I'm sure we will. But that'll be the weekly goal, because as you know, I have a weekly goal for my running. And now it's just gonna be the speed and the pace for the next goals, because I'm not doing more than an hour. It's gonna rip into my day otherwise until different other things and other things in my schedule change. 